it's Emma here from A Simple Living Journey and um, it's been a while since our last video. I Things have been really busy on the farm uh, with one thing or another, lockdowns and we've been home educating through the lockdowns and um, time just went past us really and then I realised it's been, been so long since we've done a vlog. So today on the vlog I thought I would just show you uh, some of the ordinary parts of our day, um, living off grid in a year. We do our best to cook uh, our food from scratch and so there's some baking going on and some cooking uh, cake and muesli bars this week in which uh, Elsie here uh, helps with in her own way. Um, and also I'll show you a little bit of this main living um, space of the yurt. It's a stormy day today, so I'm not quite sure how we'll go if you can hear the thunder in the background. But it's meant to be raining shortly, so we'll try and get the filming in before that happens. It's um, not cold enough to have the wood oven lit because we're in the subtropics. It's actually quite warm still. I'm, you know, I'm in summer dress and jeans. and um, So that's one of the downsides to living where we are. We use gas uh, for cooking in summer. And in winter I use the wood oven, um, which is a bit beautiful. Uh, and we also have a gas fridge. We have a really little solar system here. So um, the gas fridge was the, the best option for that. And, um, and that works really well. It's a little fridge. Uh, we could probably do with a bit bigger one, but they didn't have very many options. So anyway, um, yeah.
since our last video. Can you remember? Nope. <laughs> we got cows. Oh, didn't we have them then? No, I don't think so. Oh, we've got three little steers. Well, we did have four, but one of them scoured badly and we lost that one. So that was a shame. But Yeah, we gave him electrolytes via stomach tube and special <laughs> medicine to stop scour, <laughs> but he died anyway. Yeah. I think they were only they were only potty calves, so he might not have got his colostrum, he just had a bit of an issue of some sort. So Well the others are doing well, aren't they? Yep. They're growing big. Yep, growing all the time. They've got a pretty good life, they've got the pick of the property, they're just getting the green feed from all over the place. We've got one baby goat, one little kid. I can't remember if we had him on the last video or not, but he's really cute. You'll see some of him in this one. Um, he's, oh, how old is he now? Six weeks? Yeah, a couple months old anyway. Hmm. He's going really fast. Yep. And he's looking good. We haven't had much luck with our goats kidding this season. They were all maidens. They were. The timing was all out too. They were kidding in the middle of winter. And and um, they'll all do better with their second their second time round, which will be this summer. They should all be pregnant, hopefully. Yeah, mm. and they were badly affected by the flood that they went through. So their yeah. um, nutrition, even though we drenched them and treated them for worms and hand fed them through the flood that we went through, it really knocked their maternal nutrition and they lost a lot of condition. And I suspect that has something to do with it because we had some stillborns and the barber's pole worm yeah and that was really unfortunate um and we also had a mother reject her kid and that one we tried to save but he died so that was really sad too mm. it was an unfortunate season for us our first season of having goats but the girls look really good now they're nice and fat and they're in prime condition and we've we've had the vet look at one of them and he was really happy with her. He said she looks really good, so hopefully. They'll be all right. Yep. A few months, they'll should be small kids. Mm. Yeah, we're coming into summer, so yep. that'll be good. Yep. Tacky. That's it. Next. Well, the last few weekends I've been uh, picking some strainer posts out of our log dumps, some of the leftover timber from when we had some logging done, and selling that to a friend of ours. So that's kept me busy for a few weekends. But now we're back into finishing my shed. I've really got to get that done. <laughs> I've been saying it for a couple of years now. I've got to get that shed done. <laughs> we have lost so much stuff from damage, from weather and mould. <laughs> and all sorts of things because we don't have the shed done and it just takes time and poor Grant's working full time <laughs> uh, so it means on the weekend 
he runs around like a mad thing moving goats and chickens and doing the odd jobs that need to be done here that I can't do um, and then has to have a little bit of rest because no one can work all the time and then by the end of that two days off the shed hasn't been done again <laughs> it's just endless it's all right we'll get there and i'm a bit useless when it comes to building sheds so yeah <laughs> it's not really my strong point <laughs> so hopefully next video we'll tucker you're a bit mad mate <laughs> he's really decided it's that time of day um, hopefully next video will show some of the shed being built and maybe even iron on it. You look sceptical. <laughs> oh, we can finish the frame quickly. That's nearly done. Uh, but then we've got to buy some iron, so... Yeah. Yeah. We'll get there. Yeah. It'd be nice to get the excavator undercover and sit out in the weather and... Yeah. Old tractor there. Yeah. Hmm. But anyway... That's about us. I should cook the children some dinner before they turn wild. Hmm? What do you reckon, hunt Tucker? You need some dinner? Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>